So hi, hello and uh, welcome again. In this video I want to talk about magnification. It's an important topic uh, in the field of microscopy but there are a lot of, the, how shall I say, misconceptions about this topic. Specifically because, well, we first have to even know what magnification is because there are different definitions. Actually there are different, two different types of magnification. One of them is called magnification and the other one is called lateral or linear magnification and they're very different. And in this video I want to do the following. I not only want to talk about these two, uh, types here but I also want to clarify um, and uh, yeah to clarify a few misconceptions and, and myths okay so let's get started So let's uh, start uh, with a, a few misconceptions first. When, uh, for example, I have a convex lens here. Another question is what magnification does it have? And, and uh, be, to be very honest, uh, lenses like this uh, are not really defined by their magnification. Now you're gonna say that's not really true because there is a magnification uh, written on the objective of the microscope, but actually this means something different. Uh, because the magnification of a lens or of an objective, strictly speaking, uh, depends um, on the distance. And because you might not believe me just I've got a little larger lens here this, by the way this is the lens of a, from a helicopter the, the lamp from a helicopter and uh, you can actually see the following if I keep on moving the lens in front of my uh, face uh, front and backwards you can actually see uh, that the magnification uh, changes okay uh, so um, a lens has a focal length uh, that's the physical property that we use to describe lenses but strictly speaking the magnification itself um, is not is not defined as such um, now you're gonna say well that's not really correct because uh, these little uh, um, yeah mag magnifying glasses here they have uh, written on here a uh, ten times magnification so um, so what now and the reason why it has ten times is is because um, these magnifying glasses are meant to be placed directly in front of your eye and then uh, when you look at an object um, then there is a point where it appears uh, in focus and and this is then magnified ten times okay so uh, yeah that only works because we were kind of defining the, the eye to lens uh, distance. But otherwise, uh, yeah, magnifying glasses don't have a, a magnification per se. They only have a focal length. So what is the easiest way uh, to magnify an object? And actually, it's simply just got to move it closer to your eyes. So when I have a over here microscope slide and uh, sometime in the 19th century, what the people did is uh, some experts, they sat together and they defined the viewing distance, the normal viewing distance from the eye to the object is 250 millimeters. This is simply the standard that they have defined. And if you want to make it appear bigger, all you have to do is you've got to move it closer um, to your eye. Um, so when I place an object at a 250 millimeters uh, viewing distance then the, the magnification is defined to be one I'm not making it larger I'm not making it smaller I'm multiplying the the diameter that I see or yeah and uh, this is basically by one and and then that's basically my um, my magnification now if I have the distance so I basically I move uh, the object uh, to 125 uh, millimeters from my eye then I have a magnification of two and the diameter of the object appears to be two times larger now basically I can keep doing this um, but only up to a point uh, because sooner or later my eye is not able to focus anymore so let's uh, say that I want to have a 10 times uh, magnification here then I have to uh, 250 divided by 10 it's 25 millimeters I have to basically move it two and a half centimeters 25 millimeters in front of my eyes um, and then I have a 10 times magnification now that's not possible for me obviously uh, to do because my eye is not able to focus uh, here and that's why we need a microscope uh, to help us out um, and likewise if I move the object further away, uh, let's say I'm doubling the distance, uh, in this case uh, the magnification drops and this uh, by double distance means uh, it's as the magnification is a 0 uh, 0.5. And uh, if we know that uh, then we can already talk about the first, up oh, I gotta get my little board again, the first type of magnification because this magnification, the first one, um, the first point here refers uh, to the magnification in relation to the viewing distance. So let's calculate this a little bit. I have let's say over here a four times um, objective in my microscope that's the low power objective. I've got a 10 uh, times uh, um, uh, eyepiece uh, four times 10 is 40 times. So this means uh, if I uh, use this then um, the object will appear 40 times closer 
to my eye as if I were, yeah, basically 40 times, it would be around six millimeters, I guess. So if I use the, the, this uh, combination here, then it, uh, I would, the object would appear as large as around six millimeters in front of my eye because it's 250 divided by 40. Okay, and uh, then basically with the next one, 10 uh, times times 10 is 100 to magnifying a uh, total magnification in this case, yeah, it would be then uh, two and a half millimeters in front of my eyes. Obviously not possible for me to focus, that's why we have a microscope. Yeah, so this is basically the first uh, point that I wanted to make clear is, is uh, the, the magnification as it relates uh, to a viewing distance of 250 millimeters. Now what you can do, and that's kind of a, a, an interesting uh, thing here, is, is you can take um, yeah, something like a drawing, a, piece of, a drawing board or some kind of piece of paper. And what you can do is the following: you place this uh, object. This you cannot see it now in the microscope, so I have to move the microscope forward a little bit here. So what you can do is, is you can place this here um, at a. The microphone also has gives me a problem now. Uh, you can place this uh, board now at a viewing distance of 250 millimeters, and then you look at the board uh, with uh, one eye, and with the other eye you look through the eyepiece, and then you can try to. Tr uh, you basically have uh, two different pictures now. Now you're looking with one eye on the board with the other one on the eyepiece and then you can actually trace out the um, the, the object that you see um, and then what you then have on the uh, on the uh, board or on the piece of paper is you then have the same magnification um, on the paper um, as uh, you have it multiplied uh, with the eyepiece and the objective so it will then appear 40 times larger uh, than uh, yeah, in, in real life, okay? So this is uh, basically the, the thing how you can actually connect or combine Gonna move this away again. This is actually how you can connect uh, these two these two concepts together. So, and the next point uh, is a little bit going to be uh, maybe a little bit more elaborate because I want to talk now about linear or lateral magnification, which is the second uh, point that I want to make. That's this one down here. Okay, it basically means uh, the same thing, uh, but uh, here we refer um, to the image on a sheet of paper or on a computer screen or on a printout. So if you have a, uh, a picture somewhere which says it's magnified 100,000 times, uh, then this is, uh, the, means that it's 100,000 times larger on the paper, on printout, uh, than compared to real life. It doesn't matter how far you actually pay, uh, place the image uh, from your eyes, it's still magnified the same amount of time times on the paper. Okay, this doesn't change. It has nothing to do with the subjective appearance, but it refers to the magnification in relation on paper in relation to the original object. And now basically the problem with that is now the following. The problem with that is, is that nowadays uh, with the computers and with um, all of the, the pictures that we see in online, um, strictly speaking, um, the magnification changes uh, depending on the size of your computer screen or on how much you actually zoomed in or zoomed out. I mean, you can theoretically make a, a web page smaller or larger. Uh, so strictly speaking, if you put a total magnification on a picture, um, on a photograph, and then publish it online, um, it's it's probably already wrong But by the time the viewer sees it because every viewer has a different you know, screen size and, and some people zoom in or zoom out or show the, 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 the window smaller or larger and therefore also the picture size changes. Um, so for this reason, um, including a, a total magnification on a picture really doesn't, alt doesn't always make sense. So um, to solve this problem, what people t now try to include is, is a so-called a scale bar. Um, because if you make the picture larger or smaller, then also the size of the scale bar changes. And then you can measure it out um, and then you can calculate actually the magnification, um, the total magnification of the image on the screen or on the, on the sheet of paper. Okay, so um, this is basically the, the thing that I'm going to be showing you right now so I'm going to be showing you how you how you can actually do some of these calculations um, and uh, also yeah that's basically what I'm going to be doing now. So in this uh, micrograph uh, there is a scale bar and this white scale bar um, has an original length of a 0.1 millimeter so it represents 0.1 millimeter and now with using a ruler I'm measuring it out now and it's 58 millimeters long in uh, on the screen. Um, by the way, these are spores from fungi and they have a diameter of 3 millimeters. And what I want to do now is, is I want to calculate the total magnification um, of this micrograph uh, and I would like to also know the size, the original size of the spores. So in order to do this, we need uh, a formula and this formula is uh, the size of the image 
um, divided by the size of the specimen. So it's a simple ratio. We plug in the numbers, 58 millimeters divided by 0 0.1 millimeter means that there is a magnification of 580 times. So it's 580 times larger on screen than in real life. These, this number we can now use to calculate uh, the size of the object. We use the same formula and now we can plug in the 580. We plug in the three millimeters, the diameter of the spore, and now we uh, divide it by x, which is the size of the specimen, and we solve for x. Very simple algebra. And what we get is, is we get a diameter of 0.05 millimeters, which is five micrometers. Yeah, I think I'm just uh, going to call it quits uh, for right now. Leave your comments, please, if you have any additional questions or if you want to comment on the video. Um, I wish you uh, happy micro hunting. All the best. Bye-bye. Uh, and please uh, don't forget to subscribe. All the best. Bye-bye.